Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we are going to be having a look at Buzz's F450. Now, one of the interesting things about this truck, among a lot of other interesting aspects of it, is the fact that this is actually his first mod he's ever released. And so, mad props right off the bat. I mean, this thing looks awesome, especially when you think about the fact that it is a first mod. And not only that, but there's two versions of it, right? There's a single wheel version and a dually version, and... It only takes, like, the first couple of seconds of looking at this dually to see how incredibly freaking thick this thing is. And I believe these dually fenders were actually made completely from scratch. Now, if you want to check out this mod further, I will, of course, leave a link in the description box down below to where you can check out the mod.io page for this mod. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and fire it up, get into the garage, and see what kind of customization aspects we have on uh, on offer here. And obviously, I'm going to try to allow some time to go through the features for the dually version and the single wheel version. So let's go ahead and fire it up and see what it's got. It's actually also got a drop hitch on the back, which is really cool. And not only that, but it appears that the stock suspension has... Whoa! Has an active mode. Apparently, that's just for the rear on this particular suspension option. Probably because he really wants you to be able to tow some properly heavy loads with this thing. I, I don't think I've ever seen any other trucks where you hit the change suspension mode button and it only raises the rear. That's kind of interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the garage and see what we can do. It's pretty quick, even in stock form. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this thing moves out. All right, so engine-wise, our stock engine is going to be, basically, it's gonna start with an A-. minus. Then, it's gonna be built 12 valves. So let's see, this setup is a compound, triple turbo, 120 PSI boost setup. You have been warned, S+. Plus. Performance, once again, S+, plus, and upgraded being S+. Plus. And then there's also OP question mark. This setup was fine-tuned to complement the 10-speed gearbox. 10-speed gearbox! Okay, so let's do the... Let's do the built version, not quite the OP question mark version yet. And gearbox-wise, we've got stock, we've got 10-speed for off-road and hauling, and then highway. Now, the only thing is the fact that I really want to do the 10 speed and considering the fact that the op question mark engine was specifically tuned for that gearbox i think it would be the most well suited to that gearbox choice so let's go that route and then oh boy so we have lifted lifted toe and standard let's do let's do lifted toe i think lifted toe is probably going to be the best one to start off with so we've got 35 inch Don's Boggers duels, and really everything is Don's Boggers. It's just in a bunch of different sizes. And I think for this for this particular variant of the build, we're gonna go with the 47 inch dual boggers, because why would you not? Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. And actually, what's really, really cool about it too is the fact that you have a full range of colors and none of them look weird none of them have that like odd washed out look that some of the mods have and I think the reason why some different mods have that is because you know sometimes they work really hard on certain colors and then other colors they don't really spend all that much time on and that's not to say that that's a bad thing that's just to say that there are certain colors that the creators feel look good on the truck but in the case of this truck it seems like He's really tried to make every single color really, like, really well contrasted and really, really deep. So, I like that a lot. And I think it actually looks really good in blue. There's... And I know I always go for the red, but for some reason, I think a lot of these Ford trucks just always look really good in blue. Oh, no beans! Bruh! But my god, you want to talk about a properly thick truck. Holy smokes! That is wild! Comes with Red's gooseneck hitch, too. Or, well, I should say a gooseneck hitch that is suitable for Red's goosenecks. Let's see. Can you... There we go. I was like, can you actually, like, be in the trailer store? That would be great if you could. I was gonna, t I was gonna say, please tell me we have enough space for that. What's crazy about this is that we have these 47-inch tires, and that trailer is not, like, upset at all. And this thing could go even higher. And remember, this is a toe-tuned package. So, you can have all the suspension height in the world that you want and really not have to worry about anything. So, let's do, I don't know, we'll do drilling spare parts. 
I never really I never really load anything up with drilling spare parts, so it should be perfectly usable for a test. God, and what's awesome is the fact that like it keeps the front end down. It keeps the front end down really well. Let me move that other F450 because it's directly where we need to be. Like literally, it could not be in a worse place. All right, let's grab the dually version again and let's move out. Oh boy. Oh, this thing is kind of like, it's weird because sometimes when you're driving it, you don't really realize how incredibly wide the rear end of the truck is. And then once you do finally realize it, you're like, oh, so I really do have to pay attention to that. Like, if I don't pay attention to that, I am screwed. Oh, God. Oop, let's not go into the trees right off the bat either. That's definitely not on my uh, order of business today. But let's see how she goes through the... Oh, oh, God. Oh, that's nuts. Dude, this thing acts like the water isn't even there. It acts like... The water isn't there. It acts like the mud isn't there. I mean, this thing can haul pretty much whatever you want through whatever you wanted to haul it through. Jeez. And I gotta say, looking at this thing with, like, a trailer behind it. <laughs> I've gotta look at that a little bit closer because... Oh, God. All right, sensitive camera. Oh, my God. Dude. Who wouldn't want that? Like, I want that just looking at it right now. I'm looking at it and I'm like, yeah, I need this. And like, you gotta, you gotta admit that the boggers really do complement the look of that truck so, so, so nicely. All right, on to some more tests. And because of the fact that this one has some, uh, some weight behind it, we're gonna bypass the hill climb test. We'll do that in the single rear wheel uh, version, but we're gonna go straight for the mud. And then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do kind of a streamlined version of our testing circuit with this one. We'll go straight through the mud and then we'll go to the bridge jump and then we'll build up the single wheel version real quick. And that one will take up the hill climb. So this 10 speed gearbox, by the way, is really good so far. I mean, easy through the mud. It's pulling that front axle up off the ground a little bit. I mean, well, actually it's pulling it up off the ground a lot of it. Let's see how she goes in high. God, it's just bouncing that front axle. That's probably not good for it, and we should probably be trying to not do that. But so far, I've got to say, it's really not that bad in the mud. I mean, even with, like, a big amount of weight behind it. Let's see if we can swing it around. Dude, oh my god, that's amazing. And look at that. We have six units of cargo on the trailer, and it legit does not care. Come on. It kind of has to find its grip, but man, once it finds it, it goes. It absolutely freaking goes. And I love the work in the details on the suspension, the axles. They look really, really, really good. Jeez, man. Like, when you put it in automatic mode, though, that front axle just whoop, like, it comes right up off the ground. It's freaking brilliant. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and throw this one off the bridge jump. So we can make sure to get one, at least one bridge jump in this video. And then we're going to grab the single rear wheel version. We're going to take it into the garage, build it up real quick. And we'll do the hill climb test and a little bit of rock crawling. And I guess I would say kind of entry level off-roading with that one. So easy does it. And I know we didn't do the dips obstacle in this thing. But honestly, I know that this thing has, it's not going to have any trouble with the dips obstacle at all. And that's kind of one of those things that like, I'm, I'm okay with passing up the dips obstacle when we have two variants of a vehicle to test. So Let's see if he'll stay. Oh, wow. It wanted to go up to ninth. I was like, let's see if it'll stay in seventh up the hill. When in reality, it's like, nah, I'll stay in ninth. Well, now it wants to go back to seventh. So I kind of undid my own argument right there. Oh, God. There's not much of an, of an interior view to speak of. That's all right. It happens. Come on. Here we go. Ninth. Send it. Dude. Dude. I mean, I know that, like, this particular suspension option doesn't really have any damage uh, anyway. So, basically, the reason why the suspension is fully damaged out already is because certain mod creators will do that with different suspension options to basically make the suspension, quote-unquote, indestructible. Because if it's already fully damaged out, or at least if the game thinks it's already fully damaged out, it can't acquire any more damage. So, let's ease it back onto the road and shut it down. The front end's a little dinged up, but that's all right. 
So let's go ahead and grab the standard F450 now, take it into the garage, see what we can do with it, and then we'll take it to the off-road area and do a little bit more of some, like, um, kind of, like, trail aspect and, you know, rock aspect of off-roading. So let's grab the... We'll grab the built engine this time. We'll do the 10-speed, which is... Wait a minute. Oh, it's already got that in it. Okay, all right. This one comes with a crawler tune. Heck yeah. And I think the best option for the crawler tune is probably going to be the 45s. Although you could go with 50s on it if you really wanted to. Which the 50s are going to be just silly big. This one is going to be red. You, you guys knew that one of them had to be red. You guys knew, especially because there was two variants of the truck. Y'all knew one of them had to be red. Alright, let's see how this thing does on the flex ramp. Good god. Good god. That built engine, first of all... I can already tell you the suspension is soft as heck because it literally is, like, twisting the whole body of the truck up. But, yeah, this should have no flex issues at all. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's some flex there, if I, if I do say so myself. Holy smokes. I kind of wish we could delete the front bumper and go with, like, a, like a high-clearance bumper of some kind. Maybe a Baja-style bumper, maybe, like, an off-road-style bumper. Either way, I would just like to have a, a higher-clearance bumper in the front. That way, it would be a little bit more, I mean, a little bit more visually realistic, and I feel like it would really suit the idea of, like, if you really wanted to use this thing for crawling or, like, full-size invasion-type stuff, you could, and it would be a lot more believable if you had a high-clearance-style off-road bumper. So let's go ahead and blast this thing through the creek. Yeah, it doesn't even care that the creek is there. And let's ease it up onto the... Well, I guess we don't even have to worry about easing it up the hill. We can just send it up the... Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she doesn't care, dude. Not with this tune, she doesn't care. Jeez. All right, up the rocks. We'll put it in low plus for this. Yeah, Um. so it really doesn't matter. I mean, you can kind of do whatever you want. Oh my god, you can literally do whatever the heck you want with this setup, and uh, it's fine. It literally, like, it doesn't care. It's fine. Just, um, don't worry about it. Look at that flex! God, it is so nicely flexed out. Once again, I would love to see some, like, like a high clearance bumper in the front and some high clearance bedsides in the back, like Baja bedsides. That would look really, really good. But at the end of the day, I absolutely love this truck. I love both variants of it, and I'm really excited to using it more soon. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please do let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.